Hey everybody, Joe with Complete Carnivore here. We got something to show you. I just got this a couple days ago. I haven't had a chance to open it yet, so this is the first time. This is a Smithy Ironware skillet. Just a packing slip in there. This is the 14. It's a big one. It's heavy, it's big. If you're not familiar with Smithy, they are a cast iron company out of South Carolina. They, they make all their stuff there. Um, they're kind of the, one of the new breed of cast iron where they tried to make skillets like they did 100 years ago, where they have a smoother finish uh, than most other modern skillets. As you can see, this thing is gorgeous. Has some first use, some care tips. Speaking of first use, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, let's just get this out of the box. Um, it's one of the one of the one of the best looking cast irons I've seen. The copper color it has is great. Of course, that's not going to stay. Once you start cooking with it, it'll, it'll blacken up. It'll darken up. Generally speaking, when you cook with a cast iron skillet, the factory seasoning uh, it's not the best. You you need you need to add seasoning to it. You need to uh, uh, season it yourself. Um, you can just go ahead and use it, but it's going to start looking splotchy and, and pretty nasty. I have another um, <clears throat> skillet from Smithy, a, a little bit smaller one that I got used, and it's it's really splotchy. And I actually have never used it because it looks so splotchy. I haven't want, taken the time to reseason it, but that's for another story. Um, you can see this is. Let me get my uh, measuring tape. Um, top 14 inches. The cooking surface is about 12 inches. <clears throat> Maybe just hair more than 12 inches. Um, so plenty of room to cook half a dozen eggs or four or five burgers, whatever you want to cook in there. You could put probably two or three New York strips in there. Um, so yeah, uh, it's got it's got a good handle. Uh, some there's some cast iron pans that the handle doesn't feel great, but this one feels good. Uh, it's got the little helper hander, handle here, so <clears throat> if you got like a whole, like a braised chicken dish or something something heavy, you want to pick it up and move it. It works great. It's got some pretty deep pour spouts, um, decent angle on the sides. Some have more of an angle, some have less of an angle. It just makes it a little easier with the angle to get in there with the spatula. Scoop things up. Um, these skillets go for about $240, so they're not cheap. Uh, Smithy was kind enough to send me this so I could share it with you. Um, I can uh, do some cooking in it. I can, at some point, I'll do a comparison between this and a lot of my other cast iron and kind of show you some of the differences, similarities, all that. Um, here's the back of it. This is a California quail, just so you know, but I don't know why it's California if they're made in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, but yeah, like I said, they're kind of that new breed of skillet where it has a really smooth finish. A lot of the, the, the cheaper cast iron you buy, the the bottom of it's a little bit rougher, um, but they, they, they take the time to, to grind these down, to smooth them all out really good. Um, some of the newer ones are, are thin, have, have like thinner metal. This one's still a pretty heavy duty one. This will work great. It's gonna be good on the stove. It'll be great on the grill. You could throw this thing in a pizza oven with some steaks and cook it that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, my first impression is it's a, it's a beautiful looking skillet. Again, I know this color is not going to stay. I know the color is going to change over time. The more I use it, the darker it's going to get. Hopefully, it, someday it'll be jet black. Cast iron cookware is the type of stuff that you can pass on to your kids and your grandkids. It's, it's just a big hunk of metal. So you're not going to really damage it. You're not going to really hurt it. Um, I mean, if you drop it on concrete a bunch, it might crack or break or something. But that, that, that's a rarity. Um, if there is any damage from, from normal use, uh, they have a replacement warranty, uh, Smithy does. Um, and I'll leave some links down to them down below. They have all kinds of different sizes of skillets. Uh, there's, there's glass lids you can buy. Uh, I think the lid for this one's 50 bucks. They all kinds of different cleaning and care and seasoning kits. And um, they have some carbon steel pans too. Their, their farmhouse carbon steel skillet, it's probably one of the most beautiful pans I've seen uh, on the internet. Uh, just seen pictures of it. I've never used it, but like I said, this this feels good. It's nice and heavy uh, it, It's a heavy-duty one. It's not This isn't what you're going to use every day 
to cook an egg for breakfast. Um, like I said, this is a bigger one. You can cook a lot on here. You can cook for your whole family. Uh, I have uh, a few different ideas of things I want to do, but um, for the first cook, I'm going to do something kind of fun. So uh, let me get this box out of the way. And we have right here our wheel of food. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Um, but we have everything from like scrambled eggs. That's going to be a tough one for a first cook because I'm not going to season this before I cook. I'm not going to give it a extra coat. We'll just kind of go with what's on the factory, but steak, cobbler, bacon, uh, there's a five Wagyu. Hope I get that one. Uh, pancakes, Dutch babies, Iberico pork, hash browns, all kinds of different foods on here. We are going to spin the wheel and we're going to cook something up. Um, some of them I'll do like right now. I'll just give the pan a, a, a quick wash and throw it on the stove. Uh, some other ones I'd need to thaw the meat or, or actually go get the meat. But let's give this a spin and we'll see what we end up with. You ready? One spin. We're going to go with whatever it says. It is going to end up on fried eggs. That is a, a perfect first cook. We're going to do that one right now. So let me get this tag off of here. You get to see how uh, in shambles my kitchen is right now. But uh, we'll just give it a quick, quick, quick wash. Get some of that factory stuff off of here. Again, it's beautiful looking, it's smooth. We will get this on the stove, we'll get it, get a little bit of heat on it. Um, we're gonna cook an egg. We are gonna fry an egg. Um, you have to use fat with cast iron. Over time, as you season it, as you use it, it becomes less and less, uh, more and more nonstick. Uh, once you use it for a long time, you can get away with using less fat. Uh, but let's just turn this on. Oh, kind of medium heat. We're gonna give this a minute or so to heat up and let's go grab an egg. And of course you can use butter, you can use oil as your fat. I am gonna use, we've got some Wagyu beef tallow. It's kind of a spray, so. Uh, you don't need to sit here and watch this pan heat up. Well, maybe you do. Maybe I'll talk more about the pan. Um, I enjoy cooking in cast iron. I have probably about 20 different pieces from a number of different manufacturers. Like I said, this is the second Smithy pan I've had. Uh, it's great for cooking on the on the on the, the grill outside. It's great for campfires. Um, you can use it. Like I said, you can use it in a pizza oven. I've, I've, I have a couple videos where I cook. Uh, steaks in a cast iron pan in my uh, uni pizza oven but we're going to give this just a minute or two to heat up it's already getting warm um, as far as functionality honestly most cast iron is going to function about the same it's going to retain heat well it's going to give you a good sear on your steak it's going to uh, um, there's not going to be a ton of hot spots cool spots if you let it heat up properly uh, so a lot of it comes down to aesthetics and ergonomics. How does it look? How does it feel? Um, what do you like to cook with? If, if you like a $20 pan to cook with, get a $20 pan. If you like something that looks nice, if you want to have honest, I mean, kind of vanity, but if you want something that looks good in Instagram photos, that's going to impress your, 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 uh, friends when they come over for dinner and it's going to be kind of a, something to talk about. A pan like this is great. Yeah. It's, 240 bucks it's more expensive than uh what you're gonna see uh pan at walmart or wherever so um i enjoy cooking on on, on these type of skillets uh they're fun again you're gonna need to reseason it you're gonna need to uh uh put a couple more coats of seasoning on it basically what you do there is you just take you can use uh vegetable oil canola oil rub a very 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 light coat stick it in your oven uh, at 500 degrees for about an hour, take it out, do that a couple times, uh, and you're, you're good to go. They make different little wax pucks and, and different, uh, oil combinations you can use. A lot of people say flaxseed, the flaxseed pans I've seen, I, I don't really care for how they look. Seems like the, 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 the seasoning comes off of those or, or, or doesn't stay even. 
Um, you can, and, and again, this is just a normal size burner. It's not a huge burner. If you have a big wok burner outside or like a, one of those uh, gas uh, burners, this will be great on there. Uh, it works on a gas stove, works on an electric, works on a, on a flat top. You don't want to be scraping it around too much on, on a stove like this. Um, but again, you can, you can use uh, grapeseed oil is another one that a lot of people use. Um, let me get a little bit of water. Let's see how. Yeah, it still it still has a ways to heat up. So uh, it'll, it'll be a couple more minutes here. Um, we want to get it hot enough to cook an egg. We don't want the egg to run everywhere. Um, what else can I say about this? Uh, like I said, aesthetics and ergonomics. How does the handle feel? Can, can, is it light enough for you to pick it up and, and move it around and do what you need to do with it? Um, is it big enough to cook for whatever your group is? If it's only a couple people, you might not need a 14 inch skillet. If you have a family and you wanna cook uh, a bunch of bacon or sausage or eggs, or uh, like I said, you could put, I don't know, probably four quarter pound patties in here. Um, so you can get your burgers done in a couple quick batches. Uh, if you have a 10 inch pan, eight inch pan, you're not gonna be able to cook as much, uh, obviously. Uh, bigger pans like this are great for like things like, uh, there's a dish I like to make called low country chicken, where it's kind of a braised chicken dish. You, you shear the chicken off, put it in the pan, put some some broth in, bake it. I like serving it with uh, biscuits, soak up all that good gravy. Pan like this is great because it's big. You can put six, eight chicken thighs in here uh, pretty easily. So you have enough to, to, to feed a family. Uh, you can do uh, cornbreads, you can do pizzas, like deep dish pizzas, you can do cast iron, uh, either chicago style or or even like a like a pizza hut pan pizza type deal in in cast iron like this so the bigger ones are nice for for things like that if you have an eight inch you're gonna feed yeah maybe two people out of, out of a, a pizza an eight or ten inch but 14 inch you can feed three four people uh unless you have a bunch of big eaters um so the the, the big pans are nice again they they don't perfectly fit on a burner um, it's getting hot. Let's get to town. You, I'm just using a, a Teflon spatula. You can use metal in these. You don't want to just grind and grind and grind away with a metal spatula, but metal spatula is not going to, not going to damage a pan. Again, it's iron. It's a hunk of metal. Um, this Wagyu beef tallow, it's great. It's kind of like cooking spray for, uh, meat lovers. Um, it sprays well. We'll get that in there. You can see it's kind of shimmery. That's kind of about what we want. It's probably not quite hot enough to do this, but let's go ahead anyway. We'll crack an egg. Oh, it's hot enough. A little pepper, a little salt. Um, eggs are probably one of the best ways to determine how non-stick a skillet is, just because uh, the, the protein can burn on it again this is no extra seasoning this is just right out of the box give it a quick wash sprayed a little bit of uh beef tallow in it they make this in a in a in a tub like a shortening can too uh that, that's great but the spray stuff I, I i've really enjoyed using this on things like this i use it on my griddle outside for for cooking hash browns and it does great but we're almost to the point where we need to flip this and let's see how it does I'm not expecting it to be perfectly non-stick. Like I said, it doesn't have extra seasoning on it. It just has the factory coat. So it's not super non-stick. But you need to wash your pan anyway. Let me get a quick plate. Again, dirty cupboards, things are a mess. We have kids. We don't have time to, to straighten things out. One more salt and pepper. So yeah, I wish a steak would have come up for a first cook. I'll, I'll do that some other time. I'll even show you how to use this in the uh, in, a, in a pizza oven. And I'll, I'll probably do some, some, like I said, I'll do a video comparing this to some of the other brands. Um, so I think this egg is done. Again, once you season this, give it a few coats, it's gonna be much more non-stick than that. You can see egg stuck in there. I fully expected that. I did not have any expectation of this thing releasing an egg clean. Um, a lot of times they say that different companies have different recommendations of what to cook first in a pan. Some of them say 
onions and potato skins. I don't know why potato skins. Um, other ones say just cook bacon for a few times. Others, uh, they don't really have any recommendations. But eggs usually aren't what you want to start with because they're going to stick until you get a good seasoning layer built up. But this is the 14 inch skillet from Smithy. Again, it's $240. Like I said, the lid is, I think, 50. Um, they have some other accessories, uh, probably have a handle thing. They have uh, like a chainmail scrubber, all kinds of different things like that. But cooked an egg great. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of scrubbing to get that out, uh, but that's okay. Um, I don't care. You can even see a little bit of the color starting to go away. Uh, if you don't re-season it, you're going to lose some of the some of the nice color. I want this thing to be black. I want this thing to be as dark black as I can get it. The copper color looks pretty. It looks nice out of the box. But this is going to be something I'm going to use. Um, I want to use this skillet a lot. I want to test it out, see what I think compared to some of the other brands. But first aesthetics, ergonomic, it looks good. It feels good. That gets hot. So you're going to want to get a, uh, use a towel when you use that side. This handle here, I don't feel pretty much anything. If you start putting your thumb up here, you start getting a little bit warm. But this, that is almost too hot to touch. Uh, so just be aware of that. But yeah, the handle stays cool enough. Others have different designs to keep the handle cooler even. But for just a couple quick cooks, egg or whatever, cooking up some sausage patties will probably be fine. If you do a longer cook, you're going to obviously get more heat coming into the handle. But that's the Smithy 14-inch skillet. Beautiful looking pan. Uh, like I said, feels great. It's American made. Uh, so if you care about that, uh, that's a good thing. And uh, if you have any questions on, on, on Smithy, on the, on the pan, on what I think, uh, leave them below, leave a comment. Like and share this if you want. Again, I'll put links to Smithy down below. If you buy through those links, I'll make a couple bucks. Um, so uh, again, a great looking pan, great feeling pan. I'm excited to cook with this. I'm excited to share more content with this pan uh, with you guys. So thanks for watching.